All right, gearheads, Chuck Fast coming back at you. With our computer, yes, we're not working on cars, but we need our computer to do what we do. So we've been working on this HP Envy DD7. I want to save this old computer because it's bigger and sturdier than the newer shit that we're seeing out there. And I think it's going to be stronger because factories seem to be making uh, stuff the brakes easily anymore. And they're doing that on purpose. Okay, gearhead, so yes, we're getting into our laptop here. This HP Envy DV7. Pull the battery out. Don't want any static electricity. Took the one screw out here. Lift this out. Gives us access to the back of this bad boy. All right, there's all our RAM there. And there's our HDD drive. All right, so here we have our extra port in here for another drive. So, I purchased these two drives from Free Geeks, and uh, Free Geeks is a place that's unique to Portland. We'll have to tell you a little bit about those guys. They recycle computers. They have cheap, renovated computers and uh, parts for sale. Got myself an SSD. I said this will make this thing faster. It's a 180 gig. And uh, let's get busy here and we'll show you what we got going on. Alrighty guys, so there is the one terabyte HDD already installed. Uh, now we're going to try to snap in this cable, which came with our little cradle kit that I ordered from Amazon so that I can install this SSD over here. Now it snakes along here and snaps right in there. It's a little tricky holding these things, snapping these in there, but there's, you gotta kinda lay it in on from the side and it snaps in place. Of course, I can't see what I'm doing. It goes right in there, sort of. And you have to struggle a little bit and it'll snap down in place. It's a bit of a struggle. Okay, there it is. It just kind of snaps in kind of diagonally and you feel it snap down in there. And then this has to be traced along through this slot here. We're gonna go ahead and lay that in there and then it'll plug into the SSD. All right, let's go ahead and assemble the SSD here and get it ready to go. Okay, it snaps in firmly. There is no other way. So just give it firm pressure and you've got it snatched into place here. Next, we're going to have to put the uh, cradle over it. And you can see that there's a lip right there. I can't point it out. So there's this lip right here. And that will go over the top and it will hold this in place. All right, we have four screws to put into the sides here. Let's put them in. Okay, so we put the four silver screws in the sides. They were magnetized, that helped. We didn't drop any in the computer. A tip, you might want to save this plug-in part for the last, that way you can assemble the screws uh, prior to ins installation. All right, so we've tipped it down in here, and now we're trying to push it down here. Try to get it into place. It's a bit of a tight fit when the screws are in. Oh, oh there we go. Alright. We need to get the two black screws right in here. Well, alright. As it turned out, the little mounting screws were too short. And they just fell right through the hole. And uh, I fell down in there with a paper clip and it, uh, the threads were further down. I found a longer screw. The screw's probably 60 years old. It's from my dear old dad's screw collection from when he used to take apart radios when he was a young man. So I put one in because I wasn't sure if these might be grounds from, from what everything looked like here. So at least it's held down tight now. So with that, we're going to put it back together and we're going to uh, talk to the free geeks and see, uh, get, try to get some. Uh, advice as to what to load into this SSD. 
All right, guys, let's take a quick look at this. This is the old hard drive that came out of the laptop here after the last infamous Windows 10 update and 500 sectors of my uh, hard drive ended up ruined. So uh, I hook it up through this USB and SATA adapter here, plug everything into AC and into the computer. Uh, it shows that I have 600 gigabytes, uh, this is the entire hard drive, but it only pulls up about two dozen program files, none of which do me any good at all. So my important pics and videos, nothing so far.